Hello everyone and welcome back here to Iris. It's been a, a little while, I do apologise about that. Uh, I've had a hell of a time with uh, technical problems. My computer died, my internet died, my ISP went off and sulked. But here we are back again in Iris and there's been a few a few changes, a few tweaks in the last few weeks. There's some bits and pieces going on. We're going to be this week moving the whole sheep farm down there. We're going to move it outside the walls to... You can just about see it. It's just loading now. We've got some farms out there already. We've got some cows, mushrooms, pigs, sheep... Uh, well, not sheep at the moment. We're moving the sheep out, but you know what I mean. So uh, that's going to be that's going ahead this week. And... Uh, yeah, various other bits and pieces. I've just smoothed all that rough territory out the back there. So that's suitable for, for building on now, and I will be building the wall around that over the next couple of weeks. And uh, that will then just leave us with this little bit of wall here from the, the Parthenon down across the coastline and to the sand bridge. And then the whole of Iris is safety sealed in and with a bit of work on the lighting should be completely zombie proof. Which is going to be great as far as I'm concerned. Oh yes, there is one little bit left to wall off, but it's not exactly a critical bit. Over here, we need still need to extend the wall out a little bit, but as you can see, there's a massive drop down to uh, the, the riverbed there, so any spiders can really get in, so that's not really a problem. Alright, so I'm on top of Spawn Towers, and uh, today Spawn Towers is going to be taking up the bulk of my time, I think. Ooh. There, that's better. And uh, take a take a quick look at this place. I mean, I've, I've always loved this place. So uh, there's a very good reason why it showed up. Uh, it shows up on the uh, the thumbnail for every episode. It's because it's such a nice looking building. I really, really am happy with the way this one turned out. And considering it's the fact that it's the fourth building I've ever made in Minecraft, I you know I think I did quite all right there. I may be blowing my own trumpet, but hey, sometimes you have to toot on your own horn. But it is the fourth building I made, and there's a lot of problems with it, to be totally honest with you. There's things that were wrong with the design because I was experimenting or I was just learning and things like that. Uh, I don't particularly like the stairs, for example. There's needs a bit of work on it. I don't like the fact that we're using so many torches on these corridors. And I never actually got around to finishing off this area, which is... It's, it's gone through various different designs, but I think at the moment I'm going to build my own home up here, to be totally honest with you. I've got a flat down there, which we'll be looking at later on. But I think it's time for me to actually take ownership of this bit and build something here. Oh, and while we're up here, the other place we're going to be building lots is here, down here, which used to be the tree farm. But that has now been moved over there. So I've got a space to build something. I'm going to build another tower block, I think, uh, because this place is um, sometimes in the state of being full, and we also want to open up the server to new members, so it's time for me to build a new place, and that's going to be built down there, and that'll be happening over the next couple of months, I should imagine. And we'll be talking about recruiting over the time, but the first thing I want to do today is this place, the mailboxes. The mailboxes have never really quite worked. It used to be there would be a, a chest here, and there'd be a light here, and there'd be some circuitry lighting up across the back. But the problem is now, you know, pretty much we've filled these up. And this one is open. Uh, that's pretty much it at the moment, to be totally honest with you. So there's only one, one space there. But I want to put another eight in over here. And I'll have the eight like this. So there is lights above the chest, so if you want to give somebody something, you give them that. And the light up lights up above their chest. And so the first thing I need to do is if we look around the back here, is actually wire a lot of this up because only the first three are actually completely wired up, so I'll be doing that this morning with you guys. And that does open up the fact that uh, this now looks a complete mess and you know I think I've never been completely happy with this anyway so time has come for us to tear this all down 
think of something else to do with it. I still want to make a stables, and I probably will make a stables out here, but I'll expand this area a bit, and we shall uh, build a, a nicer stables, uh, and actually one that actually works, which has always been the problem with this place. So, let's get this done, and let's just talk about how we do this quickly. So, what happens here is we put something into... Um, have some have some rotten fresh there, whoever's chest this is. So, so we put something into the chest, the chest gives a signal to this comparator, which gives a signal to this repeater. And then we need to turn the signal around and get it up to this light, but that's fairly easy to do. So we put, just put a block there, and we put a half slab next to it. So let's not use quartz, let's use dark oak. And we put a block here. And then all, it's, all we're going to do then is just uh, put some put some uh, redstone down, so the redstone finishes the circuit off. So we take that out. The light goes off. And the problem is we can't put these some side to side. But if you because if you put if you take some redstone, say you play a trail of redstone here, and you put something next to it, it all joins up. Uh, it basically it tries to create every circuitry possible, which is no good for us. So, to get this one lit up, we now need to go a slightly different design, which, as you can see here, is put some blocks here. And if we go up here, let's just take it off for a sec. Put a block here like that, and now we can just about see in here to put in some redstone like that. So we get rid of this block that put that redstone back and now we need to connect them up we do that with a half slab so we put slab slab and we get rid of that one and we just put a block here and once we've done that all we need to do is wire the, the redstone up so like that like that like that and that goes all the way through to the light so if we go around to the front Two, three, four. This one. This one. Yep. Yeah, so let's take the sticks out there. The light goes off. Put the sticks back in. The light comes on. We take the stick. Uh, we take the cookie and the melon out here. The light goes off. We put it back in. The light goes on. Did I just do this one? I can't remember. Let's find out. Yep. Just did this one. And that is working fine. It is exactly what I want. So all I need to do now is repeat that for these last three, and the job is done. How am I getting the chap chest side by side without making double chests? Well, look, if you look closely, that is a chest. That is a trap chest. That is a chest. That is a trap chest. How can you tell the difference? Trap chests have red around the front, whereas ordinary chests have black. And because a chap chest can't double up with a double, uh, a, 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 a an ordinary chest that uh, works out quite nicely. How do you make a trap chest? You take a chest. Let's grab one off of here. Oh, make that hard for me. Why don't you? So you take a chest, and we max it with a tripwire hook, and that makes us a trap chest. Simple as that. Right, okay, so let's finish these last ones. And I'm probably going to speed this up a little bit because there's no real need for you guys to see it. Why don't I have any food? Oh, there it is. Okay, I have some steak. Right, right okay, so let's get going on this, shall we? And there we have it, that's the conversion job done. 
everything is working correctly let's just put something in there it puts the light on just take one out that takes the light off all the rest of them stay lit which is okay because they all have stuff in them which leads me to this now, i haven't actually looked in this chest for a little while i have to be honest with you and one of the reasons for that is um i've been just been using it as storage but it appears that people have been sending me some letters so I haven't looked at these yet, so I don't know what's in them. And if this suddenly cuts out, it's something naughty. But let's have a look. You asked for it. You asked for it, as I said. You really did. I'm not joking about that. You asked, and I delivered. Always happy to help. Hope you liked it. We'll try to find more when I can. <laughs> it's because she sent me some clay, which was much, much needed. And a challenge from Melody Flower. A challenge of revenge. The arena is now done, and I promised Gurley to revenge the turrets. So I challenge you to a duel so I can revenge the turrets or die trying. From the Save the Turrets campaign. Okay, Melody, you are on. I will take you up on that challenge. You and I will fight in the arena. Let's put those back for a little bit. But we will do that. So there we go. That's... Uh, first eight and I will do another eight over here uh, like okay, in this area here I need to get myself some more lanterns but I need to get loading your lanterns anyway because I want to put uh, some street lighting up but I'll do that off camera I think we've seen enough of that now uh, okay so let's go and have a look at one of these apartments The apartment I want to look at in question is this one. I started building this on a live stream a little while ago, but never actually finished it. And I've done a, a few little tweaks here and there, like putting some lighting in and things like that. But it's never really finished. Meet Rufus Bob Gullen. The dog named by the chat, as you can probably tell. And while I'm thinking about it, here's Bill and Ted, if you remember them from the old house. Hello, guys. How you doing? How you doing? Feeling rough. And here is what's supposed to be my bedroom, but I don't think I've ever actually slept in it, so let's actually do something about that. Let's spend the night here. Uh, right, okay, now I want to get this room. Now I want to get this, this building finished off a little bit, I think, because it's almost there. It just needs some. a little bit of tightening up, like uh, this room needs to be made and. There's a little, couple of little finishing touches I want to do on the kitchen and this room, though, I don't know. I don't think it needs much, but perhaps we'll just put a coat hook up by the door, so. Hmm? Actually, one place, let's put it. There, there we go. Place to hang the coat when I come in. And we'll put a mat down and so I can wipe my feet and things like that. And, uh, the, let's just get this finished off, I think. The first thing I need to do is get rid of these chests, which are full of junk. And none of it needs to be up here. So the first thing I want to do is get this all moved downstairs into my storage area. And I'm not going to bother you with that. I will just cut out now, I think. And I'll see you guys in a wee bit. Okay, after what was it about 15 minutes of intense fun, all that stuff has been moved all the way down here into my storage area underneath where my farmhouse used to be. And unfortunately, thinking about it, this place. Oh yes, I took those lamps out, didn't I? This place needs tearing up and uh, and moving over the next few weeks as well because I want to fill this whole area in and uh, stop storing stuff under here so that will be happening over the next few weeks I will be moving stuff out but there is something I want to make excuse me thinking about it um, we want two three four five of those uh, so we'll make ourselves a quick minecart and uh, we'll put that there and oh, oh you do have some chests excellent so we'll put a chest in it so that makes us a minecart chest and we need a sticky piston which I've got upstairs and we're going to need a lever 
like that. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I want some metal doors as well. So let's... Yep, that is all the iron I've got left. I have used up so much recently. I have hardly anything left at all. So I see some serious amounts of mining in my future. Right. This is what I want to do. Let me come and show you guys up here in my apartment. And while we're heading up there, let's have a quick chance. This is a quick chance to talk about uh, how we're going to expand the Iris server. A number of people have asked me um, how do you sign up, and it's been by invitation. And the truth of the matter is, we haven't really thought too hard about how we're going to get people to sign up. Uh, but um, what I've decided recently, and I've had a chat with the active members of the server and they all agree with me, is we're going to adopt um, a policy that's going to be a bit similar to the way that Team Tuxedo, if you know those guys, recruit. Which is every member can invite someone that we call a plus one. And a plus one um, is invited onto the server. Do I have any meat? Yes, I do. Because I think Billy Bob, Rufus Bob Gullen, I think we need to move you. So... Look, meat. Follow. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, so yes, plus ones. You can come out here. Sit down. Uh, in fact, good boy. Have a steak. Um, yeah, the, pl the plus ones will be invited onto the server on a trial basis, and they will get into the official chat and we will get to know those people and decide whether we want to give them a permanent residence on here which will happen after a few months uh, which basically what we want people to do is you'll see if they fit in see if they're interested in doing the things that we're interested in doing and then finally uh, we will give them a, 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 a place once you know we've got to know them and most importantly they've built themselves an apartment i'm actually going to make that a requirement for full membership i think so if you want to become a a member of the server on iris you need to make yourself a a place to live simple as that okay one of the things i want to do here and this is a suggestion from Locke on the tuxedo server which I thought was an absolutely fantastic idea, so credit where credit's due. I have to make refrigerators in the kitchens, but with a bit of work, we can actually make it a proper refrigerator. And to do that, I'm missing one thing. I need a rail. Alright, so that's, let me just find myself a rail quickly. Okay, so the first thing we need is a rail. A rail pointing in that direction, which you conveniently do by placing two rails next to each other. Then we want to put the minecart on that. Like that. And then we want to take away the block from underneath it. So there we go. And so the minecraft just drops down in the minecart just drops down in there, it's sitting on its own. It can still be opened and all that. But now what we can do, we're using this piston here, is we can take the uh, the blocks we want to make the fridge out of, in this case a block of iron, so we put a block of iron like that and then we use the piston, we just put a lever next to it, so we put the lever like that, and then we push the uh, the, 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 uh, the block down, so there you can see, okay, you you can still just about see the, uh, the cart there, I think I'm going to leave it like that to be totally honest with you, and it can still be opened. Oh yes, I used a sticky piston, didn't I? Stupid me. But, oh yeah, we get around to that like that. Oh yeah, so we pick that up. Let's pick that up as well, because I want to move that. There we go. And now, all we need to do is put another block down. There, like that, and let's put a fridge door in the front of it. Just for authenticness sake. Okay, so now it's harder to access the fridge here now. We can still go in like that, but we can't go in like this because there's a door in the way. So all you do is you just take that lever, stick it on top, open the fridge, access the stuff in the fridge, close the fridge. 
just like that. And that is a really good suggestion. So thanks a lot for mentioning it to me because I thought that was absolutely brilliant. I will be moving my foodstuffs and that up here into the fridge, fridge later on. So what do we have? We have a sink. We have um, some serving area. We have a little cooker. That's all good. We have a working fridge. We now have a door on there. And I think, to be totally honest with you, this room is done. It's good enough. It's not a great view, actually. I think it across the top of the bookshop and the... Uh, the, uh, the town square there, across to the pub, and just see Melody Flower's chocolate box and her turret in the corner there, which I think is great, so let's get on to this room. There's only really one more thing I want to do in this room, I put my clock up in the corner there, and let's get a, a TV in here, which I'm just going to just put a large painting down here, which could take some time, let's see how long it takes. There. Oh, too big. <laughs> Would you believe it? Too big. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. What should we do here? just gonna leave it it is for now to be totally honest with you I think it's a it's a good size they've got the seat front here I think I just might put a little coffee table in front of that when I get some glass later on but I think that might actually do the trick um, and I'm also bored of putting that painting up and tearing it back down again and putting that painting up and tearing it back down again and putting it in and yeah you, you get the picture so I need to put some doors in here and I need to think of what to do with this place and I think the first thing we do is we get Bill and Ted out of here. So come on, guys. Had you come. Close that door. Close that door so you guys don't run off. Come on. In you come here. Come and join your... Your your pup, Rufus Bob Gullen here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use good doggies. Come on. Be good doggies now. Come on. I'll move you to your home later on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What about if I go out here? Will that drag them out? Alright, dragged out Bill. Right, Bill, you sit down. That's a good dog. And Ted, where are you? Ted. Oi, Ted. Out here, come on. Come on. Come on. So how about if I go out here? How about if I go out here? Come on. This good Ted. There you go. You can sit there. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm moving those guys fairly soon. So the last place I want to clear to do something with is this place in here. So let's uh, get rid of this and let's get rid of this. All right, and this place needs some lighting, so let's just make some holes in the ceiling there. In fact, let's take these all down. Okay, I just want to put a torch up for a second. So we need to get some lighting. I'm thinking let's make a a toilet and a washstand, and that will do the trick in there, I think. Good boy. Good Ted. So let's pop down here and grab a couple of bits and pieces and then we'll get that finished. So all I, what I want really is, uh, oh let's pick that one here. A couple of cauldrons. 
How on earth did you get in there? Mm, looks like I'm gonna have to light the place up a bit. Let's just check that quickly. Uh, nines, tens. If it drops down to seven anywhere, that it's not well enough lit. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's all lit. So, did you come up the the stairs? You must have, hadn't you? Ten, twelve. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a seven down here. Yeah, it gets a bit dark, a bit lower down, but you shouldn't spawn there, should you? Hmm. So where did you spawn? What about over here? Ten, nine, no. Ah! There's a seven here. Let's stick a torch up. That might be it. But this all looks well lit. Yeah, this is all very well lit. And we'll be heading this way fairly soon because I need to do some work here. As you can tell, this, is, this side is broken. Something's happened to it. That might actually just fix it, I think. There we go. Let's see if that does the trick. Um, let's just put a block here. No, it's not quite fixed, it has it. I will have to take a look at this, I think. Hmm. How very annoying. Is this side working alright? That side's working just fine. Hmm, we shall have to take a look at this, I think. But, time is not now. I need to come back to this place, to be totally honest with you, because um, I need to build a lot more in here. And also, as you can see, this area is quite dramatically filling up. Uh, so I need to start finding uses for this stuff as well. Um, so we've got the sugar farm here. We're going to build a pumpkin farm and a melon farm here. Uh, I think I'm going to build a small flower farm over here and as you can see the cactus is still here but there's still a few more bits and pieces I want to put into this but the flower farm is going to be the big one and yeah just get this this going and uh, then we need to extend this tunnel down here because what I want to do is put all this stuff and all the stuff from the mob drop in a shop but I'll deal with that later on hmm. I wonder I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Just thinking, thinking here. Do I have a piston? No, but uh, do I have anything? Anything I need to make a piston? No. How annoying. But I do have this. I'll take that upstairs with me. So what was I doing? Oh yes, I was going to go and make myself some. Uh, what's it? Some cauldrons and I notice that we're actually running short of time so let's go and do that quickly let's make some cauldrons with my rapidly diminishing supply of iron and do I have a bucket yeah I have a bucket of water that's good I'll need that and I'll need a rock of iron so what's so only 23 one, two, three, that'll be enough. Okay, so we want to make some cauldrons, which are upside down trousers, of course they are. And I want to make a block like that, and... Oh yes, I wanted some lighting as well, didn't I? So let's see what I've got. That's not what I want. Oh, I know what I want. There was a single solitary sea lantern left, which I will grab. And that will do for my lighting indeed, I think. Wow. 
That was Mr. Fluffers, the uh, the library cat you heard there. Okay. My single solitary sea lantern. I think it's the last one we got left, so it's probably time to go raid uh, an ocean temple. Which I could probably get a few of the uh, the Irish team together to do that. I think that'd be fun. And give Melody a lot of supplies because she loves that stuff. Right, so back up to the top. Yes, I don't like these stairs. They need to work. Hello, Ted. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay, so let's have a look at this place. Let's put... don't have much space here, but I think we've got enough. So let's put a sea lantern up there. And then some dark oak slabs for a ceiling. Like that, and then we can get rid of that. And yeah, this is plenty lit. That'll do. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So put down the first of my cauldrons here. And we'll put the other one down here. We shall fill this one with water. And Put the iron block above it. There's like a cistern. So you can more or less see yourself sitting here reading the newspaper. Get off flush. The only thing that needs is a, I think, a trapdoor. So just cut out quickly. I'll be back with the trapdoor in just a sec. Okay, so here we have. Hehe. <laughs> Oh yes, that's the reason why we don't want iron, we want a wooden one. Hang on a sec. Uh, because the iron ones need a lever to open, so let's just make a wood one quickly. Shame, I think the wood one would look much nicer, uh, the iron one rather would look much nicer, but you can't have everything. Okay, so there we go, and just put a lid on this. So there you go. You need to sit there and read, wash your hands afterwards. Um, hmm. There's a thought. Uh, one of those. Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Let's just put that there. So there you go. There's a force it to uh, wash your hands from. You sit here, wash your hands. Jobs are good and all we need now is to start producing a newspaper so I can do the crossword while sat on it. And that's all that. I'm going to leave this, this open I think actually. Um, might make this into an archway. Do I have any stairs? The answer to that is no, but I can make some quickly. So let's do that. So let's get that out, that out, that out, and that out. And uh, oh yes, we need one of these. And let's make ourselves some stairs quickly, so the stairs can go like that, like that. So you now it's a bit more open. It's an archway. I like that. Okay, all right. That's a bit crude, but it will do nicely. And the last thing I wanted to do was I just wanted to put a coffee table down here. Just like that and like that. And then we'll just put some carpet across the top. Like that and like that. Okay, so that just gives a little bit more definition to us. <laughs> oh, you did that on purpose. Okay, I'm not going to spend the time putting that arc up again, but I will between episodes. But uh, there you go. Nice, quick little uh, house conversion. I need to put the TV back up again. Uh, but I think the feel this is a bit more finished off now, and I do like. I do like that one. So oh, let's put some sugar in there. There we go. Uh, good work there, Locke. Thanks for for suggesting it. I do really do appreciate that. 
So there's my little house. Uh, so I now obey the rules of being on this server. I have a house here. And that means I can I can become a full member of my own server, which I think is a great thing. But there you go. Alright, uh, next time I've got a few things I want to do. Uh, there's a little bit of wall I want to build. There's a, a, a fun area I want to build. I want to show off my new storage area. And there's a couple other bits and pieces that I want to show you guys too. So I hope you will to see you then. I hope you can enjoy this. Uh, I've been Cyber Parsons. This has been uh, Minecraft on the Iris server. Thank you and good night.